What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be installing E38 door handles on my E39. Here are the handles. I got these out of a 7 Series at a pick and pull. They were $6 a piece and they're almost brand new. But you can see the ambient lighting strip right there and then the wiring. If you go do this, make sure you cut the wires as long as possible. Make it a lot easier when you put them in the E39. If you don't already have these, you definitely should get them. They're T-tap splice connectors. They will make this job a lot easier. All you're going to need for this for tools is a pry tool, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pick, and some wire cutters and crimpers. You're going to be using the pick to remove the cap behind here, and there's going to be a Phillips head screw behind that. The other screw is here inside this vent. That one you have to take out, and the rest are just clips around. And then once you have all the clips off around the door, you pull up and there's a clip under here, kind of right in the middle, that has to slide up and then you're good. Now that we have the door card off, you should check to make sure that your weather steel is still good. That's a known issue on these cars. These will go bad and rip and the adhesive will go bad, which will cause water to go into the floor. So if you have water going into the floor in the front or back of your car, make sure to check around this because it most likely is that. I've got it all wired up now. Don't mind this extra butt connector. I accidentally cut the wire but I have these two on and the bulb works. The two wires you'll need to splice into are the brown wire for ground and the gray and red wire, which is the power. The door's back together and the light is working. And so is this, which is good. That one's also working. The front two are both in. They look great. Now I'm going to work on the back two. Now let's remove the rear door panel. There's gonna be a cover for the Phillips head screw behind this door handle, and that's it for screws. The rest are push clips around the outside of the door, and then it should just pull off and up. Something I've been doing to these that I definitely recommend is putting some electrical tape over where the light comes through to help not let light bleed through the top of the door, which I noticed is pretty bad when you don't put tape over it. They are all finally installed and they look great. Definitely wasn't too difficult. Hardest part was dealing with the old 23 year old German wiring installation because that was pretty brittle now, but they are all working. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos of this car on the channel. I've got some engine maintenance coming up soon. Well, I have the parts. I just need to install them, but stay tuned for those. Subscribe, a few coolant leaks, and the Vanos line, just because I'll be in there. Good maintenance.